SAP has a suite of standard reports which allows users to analyse, drill down and extract information to, to gain insight into the organisation's performance and position. A lot of the insight will be achieved using the financial module and the general ledger which I'll take you through shortly is a key report which can assist with this type of exercise. The general ledger report can be found in the financials module under financial reports, accounting, then general ledger. When the general ledger screen opens, you'll see a range of selection criteria, criteria which will really allow you to drill into the area that you would like to analyze. We've got choices of business partner and accounts, and then we have the date ranges. We've also got more detailed uh, selection criteria under the expanded option. So when I select on expanded, I see all the marketing documents uh, that can impact the general ledger. I've also got transactional and reference information that I can search by as well, including projects, user-defined fields, and dimension values that we have uh, a few options here. From there, we have additional um, more advanced options from ignoring adjustments, so that's period 13. They need to be excluded from this particular report, you can select that. Also the ability to add journal vouchers, so those are the suspended journals that haven't been posted to the system quite yet. We've also got uh, display options on the right hand side and the options to show reconciled transactions or not. We also have the ability to do revaluations as well, so if you are dealing with foreign currencies and different system currencies you can also handle that within this particular report. To run the report you just go ahead and select the criteria so I am going to run it by turnover and cost of sale accounts and then I hit the OK button. So that will go away and run the report and show me this the information on screen that we have in front of us. So the first section is the turnover account so that's the account number right there and I can hover over that and it will give me more information. And then I have all the underlying transactions. So I see a, a range of AR invoices that are posted to that particular turnover account. I also see the offsetting account, which is the card code or, or business partner on that particular account. And then I see the balances. I also can display additional columns. So if I right click the heading of the particular uh, table, I have form settings. This allows me to show more information on this particular screen. Just like all grid-like structures in SAP Business One, I also have the ability to export this to a spreadsheet and from these golden arrows I have the ability to drill through to the source transaction. So I have the AR invoice here for Bubblebox. So this general ledger report is a powerful report and it has a whole bunch of additional options and I would suggest that you go to the help file to find out more about each particular type of option. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to learn new smart ways to grow your business. You can also check out our blog and follow us on Twitter to learn more and stay up to date. Thanks for watching and see you next time.